Any action? No. Okay, so now we're going to number 18. Okay, number 18, we did receive a letter from the uh, from the team, Columbo and Klinger, uh, the attorney who was representing the Board of Elections. Uh, they were requesting that the commissioners approve a uh, supplemental appropriation in the amount of around $135,000 so that they could install their, their special sprinkler system and remove the one that we're putting in. Um, and in, in alternate of that would be for the commissioners to work with the Board of Elections to obtain a, a separate storage facility for the or or the build one or something, right? Or yeah, well, in some yeah. way finding some, another yeah. Yeah, yeah, another facility for them. And Which part of this is just acknowledging that we got this letter. So I kind of pressed uh, Jerry. That's the reason it's in front of you. Was um, I got the sense that it was maybe the letter was just going to be ignored, which is fine. Uh, but I kind of feel like I wanted to put it to you guys to either approve or deny this so that we can move on. Mm -hmm. um, you know, just for purposes of, you know, where we're at with them, you know, before this latest request. Mm -hmm. And I kind of feel like you dealing with them because I, I felt like we were at the finish line and then they moved the goalpost again. So, <laughs> um, so the, but just so you know, what you've spent on um, summary of cost impacts for the Board of Elections and this changes you've made. Now, Remember, and I'm gonna, I'll go through the, the, the money you've spent, not to throw gasoline on the fire, but a big part of this was you they wanted storage next to the, the garage door, which you kind of designed the whole basement based upon what they had initially expressed to you. Mm -hmm. And then you had their offices upstairs, and they said, no, we have to be on the same floor as our storage equipment. Mm -hmm. So you made all these changes, and now they're saying, oh, no, no, we want off-site storage. Mm -hmm. It's like... Yeah. If they had said off-site storage from the beginning, you could have saved half a million dollars, and they could have had offices on the first floor. I, it's just yeah. infuriating. Yeah. I'm sorry. No, um, no. So you've spent $671,094 on changes for them wow. that, uh, that they've requested. Wow. $671,094 is where we're at before this latest thing. Mm. So... Um, I just need you to either either approve this, disapprove it. I mean, I don't know that you have to formally vote, but at least give me your feedback and that I'm yeah, there's suspicion of what it is. It, uh, it that, sounds like just so so I'd be clear, and we've talked a little bit about it, but the the attorney that they, which you know, I initially was super opposed to because I felt that part of our responsibility and part of their responsibility is to work together and figure out all these things. Well, we quickly found out we were negotiating with chaos or something you know what I mean because every time we'd solve one problem two more would arise and it was like a game of whack-a-mole you know trying to figure this stuff out so hindsight being what it is I was I thought well in and you told me too that bringing on an attorney may be a good thing to try and smooth out some and give them some maybe some realities and some some suggestions and common sense to uh, solve this stuff quickly and that this is not we're not in make-believe land. This is costing real money right now. You know, every time we move this or change that, there's hard costs that that are being affected. So, um, it sounds like the attorney that they did hire has been really good, f good for them, in a, in a way that he has tried to talk some common sense into them, and that he's worked well with you, right? I mean, yeah, I, I really he's. He's wonderful, and he, he's yeah. a subject matter expert in this area, which is good. Yeah. Um, but you know, there's only but some, it's, sometimes just like there's only so much I can do with the three of you. There's only so right. much he can do right. with the right. four of them. Right, right. right. So. But but as far as the legal parameters or legal requirements from the commissioners related to the board of elections, you know, I don't hear anything coming back from a legal standpoint. These are more again. Um, you know some wants that are arising as you know we're still working with them so you know I this think just, I think we've exhausted whatever if we did have a budget for them they have completely blown that up and torn it out you know I mean it's you know so to put more 
on this if this was something early on that they were requesting like a special this or special that I it might be a little more favorable to that but at this point you know we, we can't just keep throwing money at this and and, and 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 who's to say if we do this they're not going to come up with two more things you know so I wish they'd done this yeah. two years ago I mean yeah because if you remember from the beginning of this, it was such an important component for them to have this storage area in the building next to the loading dock, you know, that which you did. And and then and then they insisted that they need to be on the same floor as the voting machines. Now they want them in a different location. Like I said, if they had come to you at the beginning, they could have had A1 space on the first floor right mm -hmm. off the lobby yep. and then had an, a, a separate storage facility for their voting equipment, which is what they insisted two years ago they didn't want. Right. So I, I don't know what to, I mean, yeah. listen, I, so this is what I'm recommending as plan of action. I mean, that <laughs> if you do reject this, um, then I'm just going to do, our office is going to do a letter to the Secretary of State. We're going to lay out everything that's happened, all the changes they've requested, all the money you've spent. I'm going to invite him to come up with either him or his representatives to come up and tour the space. Mm -hmm. I good. went down there, when were you there? I went down, with Jerry and I went down, what was that, a few weeks ago, three, four weeks ago? Yeah. I, you know, to check on. I mean, it's it, it, it's probably pretty far along now. Yeah. I mean, they're starting to, they're starting the top down, so it's not finished out yet. But I'm going to just lay everything out to the Secretary of State. I'm going to tell them that's where they're going to be, mm -hmm. January first. Mm -hmm. This this is not going to be supported anymore. And please come and re and look at this and try to get him to intercede. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, their options at this point are, you know, if you reject this, would be we got to move in. Mm -hmm. um, or they could file a lawsuit, but I, I don't know. I don't know how great of a cause of action they're going to have, and what are they going to argue? That would be very unfortunate to continue to you know waste money, and that's what I've been seeing. This this has been a gigantic waste of time and money, and I don't like again. I I'm trying to understand where they're coming from, and there's no. Every time we agree to, basically we gave them a blank slate and said, just tell us what you want to change now before we get going. And it's just been a, a bunch of gobbledygook. <laughs> you know, I don't know. You know, every time they, they come back with a new, something new. You know, where does it end? Yeah, this will be great for voters. I mean, this is, it's it's more accessible. Yeah. It's, it's just, it's modern. It's cutting edge. Um, I mean, I won't even get into the, the technology aspect and the security, but it's just everything is going to be top shelf. Yeah, it checks all the boxes with their early voting. We have the handicap drive through voting, the mailboxes, yeah. all the stuff they request. You have a drive up drop box that you put in for them, yeah. that you're putting in for them. You have a, a curbside voting handicap in the back, like mm -hmm. you're putting it. I mean, so it's, um, you know, it's a Again, their their claim is the same as any one of us would have. If I, if I were to, you know, if you were to, you know, stick me in some shed, and I and I said, hey, listen, guys, you know, you're giving me facilities where I can't exercise, you know, I can't discharge my statutory duties. That's what their claim, claim would have to be, right? Mm -hmm. And I think if you look at how are, is anybody going to look at you in a straight face and say what you're giving them is not far superior than what they've been operating? Absolutely, right? Right. Yeah. right. So we, we've worked hard to, you know, answer all their requests, change things, time and time again. So I'm, you know, I'm I'm in agreement with you to have the Secretary of State come up here. And okay. So, I mean, you know, I don't think you you can vote on it if you want. I don't know what you want them to do, but I mean, we we received the letter, and I think we reject that that request. You know, I'll make that motion. I'll second. Mr. Yes. Mr. Yes. Okay. We'll work with Jerry. We'll put together a letter to the Secretary of State. Um, we'll send that, you know, you'll get copies of that, and we'll send it out and invite them to come up and, and assess the situation. Yeah. Yeah. We're looking looking forward to moving in.